Hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Hunton, founder of RHMD, where we help you become radiantly healthy. Today I want to talk about vitamin D3 and also K2. First, vitamin D3. Did you know it's actually a hormone? The gentleman who discovered it was a contemporary of Linus Pauling, and he called it vitamin D. Since that time, we've elucidated it is a hormone, and it is involved in over a thousand reactions in your body, everything from mood to immune system's ability to fight off cancer. It's hugely important. How much to take? I often get asked that, and my recommendations are always based on looking at where your blood work is and bringing you up to what we consider ideal or goal. The National Institute of Health recently sponsored a lecture at GW University where they called vitamin D3 a biomarker of aging. And they found that people whose levels were between 60 and 80 were more likely to live the next 10 years and when they got to the end of that 10 years be independent. That's our goal. So what about the hormone? How, what is the best form to get it in? It turns out sunshine. Anytime we get things the way the body is designed to absorb them, they work better in us. Now before all the dermatologists come out here and kill me, I want to make sure that you understand I'm not endorsing sunbathing and sun frying. Sunburns is not the way to go. The current recommendations coming from Brussels, the International Institute, um, recommended that we get our, our vitamin D3 from the sun. 15 to 25 minutes in the sun, depending on where you live, and a male European bathing suit. Now, I don't think that's very culturally acceptable around here, although I have a few patients who tell me they have some private areas in their backyard where they can get some sun. So that means that those of you who like to think that you're getting your vitamin D3 on the tennis court, the golf course, or walking, getting that farmer's tan, it doesn't quite work. So what about sunscreen? Well, for one, I also, I also want to bring up that a lot of the sunscreens out there have some toxic chemicals. The Environmental Working Group has an app you can download to your phone or look online and look for the most safe sunscreens to use. I also have to give a plug for two of our local manufacturers here, Beach Organics and Absolutely Natural, both manufacture here in Brevard County and they both have excellent sunscreens without the toxic chemicals. You can find them on Facebook or online and I believe both have factory stores. So back to the sunscreen. What if um, I'm traveling, how do I find the right one? Remember the app. But don't sweat it if you have to use the other stuff for the short term. Now vitamin K2, it is a vitamin. And there are a lot of different versions of vitamin K. And unfortunately, even though it's the hot topic right now, it's not something I can measure in your serum and give you a personalized recommendation. K2 though, as it pertains to bones, and that's where vitamin D often comes up, is very important in helping the collagen and the structure of the bones. It's also very important to the structure of the capillaries and blood vessels. That's why Coumadin, one of our common blood thinning drugs, not only thins the blood, but when the person bangs their arm against something, they get the big purple bruise. Vitamin K2 gets depleted when people are on warfarin or Coumadin for long periods of time. And there's actually research going on right now about replenishing the K2 without actually reversing the coagulation process. I know that's a little bit more science maybe than you wanted. So for right now, what are the recommendations on K2? The recommendation is to get some in your multivitamin or some of the vitamin D3 products actually have it within it. We have one and there's others commercially available. But I, th I do believe that the evidence says that we should be getting that at this point in time. So D3, what is my official recommendation? It has to come back to your serum level. And I'm going to give you a dose based on where you're at. Now don't make the mistake of thinking that because there's some D3 in your calcium and your multivitamin that that adds up into the equation. It usually does not. There's a misnomer or miscommunication out there that vitamin D needs calcium and calcium needs vitamin D to be absorbed. That's true in the bone, but it's not true from the stomach. And the majority of products out there with vitamin D with the calcium, the vitamin D is not very well absorbed. So when I give you a dose, say 5,000 units that I want you to take, I, I mean that more independently. So that's today for vitamin D3 and K2. 
In the meantime, be radiantly healthy, and thank you for entrusting us with your care.